Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I am sharing a bunch of new planners and notebooks from the Happy Planner Fall release. So these are 2025 planners. I can't believe we're talking about that but it is already time to start thinking about what your 2025 planner lineup is going to look like. Uh, I'll talk much more about that later in the year but in today's video I'm sharing all of these new planners with you that I received. There are lots of other products that are launching. I have videos on my channel showing all of the Disney stuff. So there's Disney planners and stickers. I also have a video showing all of the stickers. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure to check out my channel for those other videos. But today I just wanna dive into all these planners and notebooks. So lots to go through here. I think we'll start with the notebooks. And I wanna to mention too that if you do plan on shopping, I have a coupon code linked for you in the description box. The more you spend, the more you save. And I'd really appreciate it if you use that affiliate link uh, when shopping. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it really helps out my account a lot. So I'd really appreciate that. And check out that link to see all the other planners. There's way, way more planners than I'm gonna share with you today. So let's start with the notebooks, like I said. I love that we are getting some book-bound dot grid journals. This one in particular is part of the Mauve Moss collection from the Happy Planner. Oh, I love this. So we, we had a sticker book that kind of matched this collection and it's like pa muted pastel kind of colors, but this is gonna be super neutral on the inside. Just a beautiful dot grid journal. I love using dot grid journals for manifesting and gratitude and things like that. So this will probably be in my lineup for sure um, for that for that function. Also has a little kind of pocket folder in the back. Oh, look, there's some sticker sheets, you guys. So these are similar to that one sticker book that I went through in that video. So super cool. We have some circle quotes and some functional box sheets here. That's super cool that these are in the back here. Uh, there is also gonna be two, well, let me take this off so we can see if there's, I think, yeah, it's just this super clean pattern. I love this on the front and back. And then in this color, we also have the bookmarks. There's two of those that you can mark different pages. Love having a neutral um, notebook like that. Two other kind of notebook things here. This one is going to be a goals and dream guided journal. So there's 80 sheets in here. We have goals and dreams here on the cover. Love this. So this is all part of that same collection as well, it looks like. Um, so this very neutral, muted pastels, if you will, dwell in possibilities. Oh, I love this. Maybe this will be in my lineup too. <laughs> love this already. So we have enough for four months here, basically. So for each month, you're going to get an overview page to talk about three big goals that you have for the month and some actions that you want to take for it. You're gonna get a monthly habit tracker to track three daily habits. And then we go into a weekly page, kind of an overview of what you wanna get done that week, and then some daily pages. So this is great to kind of just kind of jump into some, some journaling and prompt questions. Um, like, what is your main goal for today? Write three pro positive daily reminders to yourself. Uh, three wins from today. So all kinds of different things just to kind of get you into that mindset. Um, I'm trying to see the page, does, these are different questions. Write a motivating message to yourself, encouraging. So there's just some different prompts there throughout um, the pages. And then you have kind of a goal check-in for the end of that week and then into the next week. All right, what are the, this week's focus? And then into the daily pages, etc. So that is what that looks like and that will repeat from uh, week to week, month to month. Hustle with Heart is the second one. I really like this collection a lot. I'll have to see. I don't think I have a planner from this collection, but I'll have to take a peek. Oh, did I show you the back? Chase after your dreams. I'll have to see if there's a good planner from this collection that I want to pick up as well. So that is our goals guided journal. And one other, I think it's like a guided journal, but this is in a wine and spirits collection. 
I'm excited to look inside. I have not yet. So I'm thinking it's going to be similar vibes to like the recipe organizer, but this is all about, I think, wines and, and cocktail kind of vibes. So we have cheers to good taste. I love this cover with like a bronze foil here. Every hour is happy hour. So it's the layout of a guided journal. Let's see what, what could we be guided journaling about for wine? Let's see. Okay. Use this journal to build a record of tasting notes and good times shared with your favorite people. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we're working with. Wow. This is kind of cool. I'm excited to show this to Sarah as well. So common drink glassware. We have a little cheat sheet here. Um, and then I think it's just going to be, yeah, basically note pages. So you can put the wine here, a winery that it's from, the price, classification, tasting notes. Oh my goodness. This is very aggressive. This is like, this is for the winos out there. Um, and let's see, I don't think all the pages are about wines. So we have some wine pages here. It says wine and bubbles. You can kind of see they're categorized on the side here. So we have a couple pages for wine and bubbles. Then we have brews. So I think it's similar questions, but instead of like these wine specific things, we're gonna have um, served as tap, bottle, can, etc. So if you are into wines or beers or cocktails, what a fun little thing for you. So this is liquor and spirits. It talks about the distillery and the different tasting notes. And then we have cocktails. You can rate your different drinks. I think this is interesting. All right, different ways to say cheers. And then it looks like we go into the same exact thing. So we have wine. So what I probably would do is I would put all of the wines together, all the beers together, all the cocktails together, etc. They are kind of color coded um, as well. So yeah, that's how I would separate this out, I think. If I if I really wanted to go deep here into tracking my wine notes, I'll drink to that. You'll have to tell me if this is something that you could see yourself using. I would love to see this kind of combined or recreated into personal. Like, I would love to get better at personally myself making different cocktails and drinks. So adding like recipe pages in here and kind of rating different drinks that you create. I'd love to see how people um, kind of recreate this for that purpose as well. So let's dive into the planners probably while you're here uh, or while you're here. Um, there is so many planners coming out and it's crazy that we are thinking about 2025 planners. I want to share two new products. One of them I don't have yet, but the first is this customizable, personalizable, um, kind of like, I don't even know what they're calling it, but so these covers come off just like the Happy Planner discs, but they're different shapes, okay? And we have this like ring binding, but it's not all the way. It's just at the tops and at the bottom. The pages are also like that, or I don't know if all the pages are. Oh yeah, they are. So you can still, just like a Happy Planner, really customize this and pull pages out, put pages in, make it kind of what you want it to be. Um, but this is just maybe, you know, this is a more professional look for you. Um, I don't know. You, I, I could see this being appealing to, to certain people in, in certain situations. So let's pop this back on. So I wanted to get this so that I could showcase this new planner, but I also think this cover and this collection is really pretty. So we have 2025 with all these like moons and stars and leaf patterns here. I did have a sticker book that matched this. So if you're really into this collection, you can definitely check out um, my sticker book video. I love that it's pretty neutral here on the inside. So super clean. You can add stickers and colors to it if you want. And I think it looks basically the same. The only difference is we're not on discs here. We're on this kind of binding instead. So we have January. This is our monthly layout. And oh, it's a dashboard. All right. So this is looking very, very similar to uh, dashboard in the disc bound. The same exact kind of thing here. We have priorities, important, looking ahead, and then a grid section here for notes. 
so everything looks identical. Let's just, let me see if these, if I have another one here. No, it looks like it's a little bit different. So we will keep going with these dividers because I have a disc bound one that we'll look at next, but it looks like it's maybe a little different. See the good, I really like these designs. So the sticker book in this collection is one I'm excited about. They all have to tell me what you guys think of this new planner. We haven't seen this binding from Happy Planner before. Is this something that you think you wanna try? I do like that it's still customizable. So you can still add and take out pages and things like that. I'm intrigued to see if they sell um, like bookmarks and things like that with this binding. We'll have to check out. Uh, use the link in my description box and anything you purchase will then kind of give me a little bit of a kickback. So I really appreciate it if you use that when shopping. Um, so the other, the other item that's kind of a newer planner is they have customizable planners where you get to pick your cover, your dit, if you want plastic, metal disc, you get to pick that. You get to pick what insides you want, if it's vertical, hourly, dashboard, thing, horizontal, etc. So I think that's really exciting. I am going to be getting one. Um, so I'll be kind of picking out my insides and all of that on the day that this launches. So stay tuned for a video about that process. But use that link in the description box. If you are super excited about that, you can build your planner right now and not have to wait for my video. Um, but now going back to what we know and love, we have a couple happy planners to look at for 2025. This is going to be the same collection as this one. So the same artwork, but it's going to be a vertical on the inside. So we have Make Your Own Magic 2025 on the cover. Let me, you know what? We're just gonna get the scissors out so we're not here all day. All right, so this Happy Planner belongs to our name page. Very similar insides. What is this? We can't think about her yet. I don't even wanna think about 2025 yet. Dream big. I think the dividers are maybe the same, but they were in a different order, but we'll take a look. Super clean, beautiful monthly layout. What I really like is you. Th these are great for Franken planning. So if you wanna use these dividers, but you want a dashboard, you're able to just exactly switch this out with one of the other planners we'll look at because it perfectly matches up here. Like the guts are all pretty transferable. So I love that. Nothing has changed with the currently page or the layouts or anything like that. The future begins now. And now we'll just kind of take a quick look at these dividers. Again, I think they are pretty much the same, just maybe in a different order. But we have it in our classic disc pattern or binding, which is, that's always gonna be my favorite. August, September, October. Look at all the good magic around you. I love that purple foil. November and December. Oh, this is kind of giving Christmas vibes a little bit. Our back notes page and the back cover. All right, so that's a vertical. This one, oh, this says undated. Oh, so we have an undated planner in the mix. That's exciting. Uh, this is part of a, a collab with another artist. I think we... Do we have some more info about that artist on here? Yes, we do. So you can read that. Uh, I love when they do different collabs so we can get some different artwork and designs. Uh, I also had a sticker book that matched this. I love this quote on the front. It's your year to shine. Um, oh, I haven't been saying the names. So this is part of the Desert Mystic collection. This is part of the Retro Sunset collection. So like I said, this is undated, which is interesting. We don't usually get, I feel like, an undated in this release. So we have no, none of those intro pages, really. It just goes right into the planner. The first divider, super clean. Oh, this is a dashboard, nice. I, I love having undated. I use it for my Patreon spreads when I do like a custom spread for my Patreon members. I love using undated when I can. All right, so now we'll just take a look at the beautiful dividers here. 
A lot of these we have stickers in that sticker book video, if you want to check that out, that will match all of these designs. Shine your light. I love the sun sunshine vibes. Plan your happy light. This would actually be a cute cover too, if you really want it, if you like that yellow. And the back. All right, let's go back into the dated, because that's probably what you guys care the most about. So we have a, another vertical here. This is part of the sketchy florals collection. I thought that this cover was really pretty, so I'm excited to see what the designs on the dividers look like. <clears throat> so this is very neutral and clean on the inside. Yep, these pages are going to be identical to those other planners that we've peeked at. Just go for it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm sure there's a sticker book with this collection. Uh, I did not receive it, so that may be something I want to pick up on release day, which the day that you're watching this video, it is, th these items have all released. Stay focused on your dreams. Love that. And all the guts are the same from month to month, so we'll just take a look at all of the dividers. Speak only good things to yourself. Follow your heart. Yeah, I love, I love that it's like super black, white, gold, gray, super just neutral. Ooh, love this. These are the best days. Today is full of wonderful things. I feel like I want to write notes on that, on that page. Seize the moment. <clears throat> and the beautiful florals. And our back cover here. So uh, I think I mentioned it in the beginning, there are so many planners, so obviously I can't go through all of them. Like I don't have all of them to share with you. So click on the link in the description box, you'll see all of the different planners. Uh, and then in addition to that, there are other people that received maybe a couple different planners than me. So just check out on YouTube um, and see what you can find. All right. So this one is part of the Modern Impressions, I believe is what this collection is called. Oh, this cover's not on here super well. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So here's the cover. This is part of a really neutral collection, which I'm a huge fan of. I mean, you know I love anything neutral. I like to add colorful stickers, but I love the bases to be pretty neutral. So, all right, so same inside pages. So exactly what I was saying, if you like these dividers better, but you want it to be a vertical layout instead of a dashboard, you just, it's very easy to put the two together since these pages look identical, which I love when they do that. All right, so same dashboard that we looked at before. This is, uh, we're starting in De on December 30th in these planners. Oh, this is cool. These actually are going to say the month on the divider. That's interesting. I feel like we don't get that very often or at all. So this would be I like this would be a good work planner. Very professional, very neutral. August, September, October. I think the dashboard layout is good for work as well. November and December. I can't believe you guys that we are thinking about and talking about 2025 planners. That feels very strange to me. All right, and the back cover. So lots of planners that we went through today, but there's a ton more options on the site. Work Plus Life is also back. So if you like an hourly layout, there's a, a bunch of options in that. And don't forget to check out the other planners I received are Disney. So we looked at some really cool villain and nightmare before Christmas options in that video. So that's in the separate video. But again, I'd really appreciate it. If you are shopping from this collection, please check out the link in my description box. It helps me out a ton and doesn't cost you anything extra. And uh, use the coupon codes that are also down there to save you a little bit of money. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know in the comments what collection you're the most excited about.
If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.